Alright guys, so a lot of you have been having troubles with Summer Board, so I'll show you exactly how all, I'm, exactly how I put the themes on there, and what I do to install and everything. It's going to be a lot clearer than this, because I'm going to make it with pictures, so hopefully that helps. There can be a number of reasons why Summer Board isn't working for you, but the first one that I would do is install boss tool boss tool boss tool so install that And then once it's done downloading, find it on your home screen, and then touch it once right there. I'll be making the pictures. I'll make. I'll be making the picture video with the stuff that people don't usually get. So I think you'll be able to get this one. So then, I already moved my fonts and ringtones and apps. But what I would do is move everything. Is move all three of those things because that could be a reason that you don't have enough space on your iPod. Okay, that's the first reason, and then now I'll get into the pictures. Okay, you're gonna wanna go to installer, and then you need to go to uninstall to make sure you have the installer 3.0, and if there is an update for installer, get that before you install summer board. Okay, then go to install, all packages and scroll down until you see summer board it should be updated and if it's not updated refresh your sources and then get the installer update then install the summer board then press home and you should see this icon and then restart your iPod then go back into installer once it's done restarting go to install okay now once you've done that just go down into some board themes and download some that you like or that some that you want I guess so just find some and download them I'll just download some random ones I don't really care just download a few of them or just one if you like Okay, I'm just going to download two right now, so then press home, and then it'll crash. And then go into summer board, and you shouldn't see any of your themes there that you just downloaded, okay? That's good. Now then set your up to the side for now. Okay, now for the part that no one seems to be able to get. Open up QFTP and the SSH into your iPod for right now and click continue and then SSH into your iPod okay there we go I'm gonna start doing the pictures now Okay, when you first SSH into your iPod, it should bring you to a screen that looks like this. You need to click on Library. <clears throat> then click on Summer Board. Click on Themes. And then select the files you want to be in Summer Board. And drag them to your desktop or someplace on your computer then you should see them in folders that look like this
then you need to push this up folder until you get to this screen you need to go down and look for mobile and double click on that and then double click on library and then you should see another soundboard inside the library and then click on that and then you should see themes and then click on that one and then you should see all your default themes that you have on your iPod from when you install the soundboard so then select the file you want that you dragged your computer onto your iPod it'll copy the folder and then if you don't see the theme on your iPod right away just click refresh and then you should see it so double click the theme you have in there select all the files right click and go down to properties and then change the 644 to 755 and click click apply and then click OK okay once QFTP is done changing the permissions to 755 you can just exit out of Qt FTP. Then you're gonna need to restart your iPod. Once it's done starting, go back into Summerboard Themes, and now you should see the one that you downloaded. Just click it. Yeah, just click it, and then press Home again then you should see that it works just like that if this didn't help you anymore just like keep trying and eventually it'll work hopefully it does just keep reinstalling and installing it and doing it exactly like I showed you and if you can't get the SSH thing to work, just reinstall OpenSSH and then try it again. So if you have any more questions, just message me or comment me and I'll try and get back to you.